Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Gomendoza and I'm an endocrinologist. I practice uh, treating people with diabetes uh, and thyroid diseases. And I'm with Salina Regional Endocrinology. Well, Dr. Gomendoza, thank you so much for being on the show. Um, we're going to be discussing endocrinology. I think the best way to start out with is say, what does an endocrinologist do? Well, Mike, thanks for having me over. You bet. So um, an endocrinologist deals with the practice of the endocrine system and the endocrine system produces uh, hormones that comes from glands. So the pancreatic gland produces insulin, the thyroid gland um, produces thyroid hormone. So a, a patient with uh, insulin deficiency or anything uh, that's dysfunctional on the pancreas can develop diabetes, we manage that. And the thyroid is the same. Uh, it can over or under produce thyroid hormone. So they can have hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism and we manage that as well. So what type of diseases, you mentioned diabetes, what type of diseases or conditions do you treat? So we have generally two types of uh, diabetes. We have type one, which is um, mostly in onset in younger age in children. Uh, they're insulin dependent and we have the type two, which majority is adult onset. And you can also treat them with insulin, but uh, we can treat them also with uh, oral agents, uh, injectable insulin, and non-insulin regimen. Cornerstone remains to be, you know, diet and exercise regardless. And how about for the thyroid and stuff? Thyroid, so we deal with, we treat the people with low thyroid, hypothyroidism, we deal with uh, overactive thyroid, hyperthyroidism, and we also deal, uh, treat uh, thyroid cancer. So at what point in time, either in an issue that patients are having with a thyroid or with diabetes, would they want to see an endocrinologist instead of the, the primary care? So majority of the cases would be that the primary care already instituted maybe two or three regimen for their diabetes and the control remains not optimum. Numbers are still running high uh, and some of them may already have, um, have an or organ damage, basically complications from the disease. And so we see them uh, at that point, the, the more severe forms. Uh, thyroid's the same thing. They've been on medication. They try to um, be regulated by their primary care for months and sometimes for years, and it's just hard to get them there, and that, that's where we get the referrals. Uh, thyroid cancer, usually we get them right off the bat. After they got the, the surgery, uh, we see them, and you know, there are the indication to either do more treatment like radiation and how to do surveillance testing to, to look into whether the, the, the cancer is persisting uh, or reoccurring, uh, we, we take over from there. Okay, thank you so much for some great information. And thank you for watching. For more information, please visit Salina Regional Endocrinology.com and like Salina Regional Health Center on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram.